Hey guys, it's Lori Wilson, your favorite realtor, aka that realtor with the poof. And I'm coming back to you guys with a good one today. Now, this one is basically touching on the, both sides of the transaction when it comes to real estate. And that'll be whether or not you're buying, selling, or investing in real estate. So I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about both the buying side and the selling side. And um, just go ahead and get into that because one day um, this is going to be something that you're going to be doing. And you're going to probably want to know a little bit more about it before you start. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that information out there for you guys. So if you guys, uh, while you're watching this, if you enjoy the content, just go ahead and like it. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer them for you. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So for the buyer's side, you have the buyer, which will be you and the buyer's agent, right? And basically what's going to happen is um, the buyer and the buyer's agent, as I explained in the last uh, video, when I was talking about uh, the five steps to buying a home, you guys are going to have that uh, consultation or meeting, what we call a buyer's consultation. So you'll sit down and you'll talk about what it is that you're looking for in a home. And once that happens, I'll get you in touch with a good lender so that way they can get you approved for a good home loan, a mortgage. And um, after that, uh, we'll go ahead and um, start looking for houses. Now, I just wanted to let you guys know that on the buyer's side, the buyer doesn't pay the buyer's agent's uh, commission. That gets paid on the seller's side. And I just wanted to let you guys know that real quick. And with that in mind, um, when you guys are looking to buy a house, I want you to just keep that in mind because basically working with a realtor, it's practically free. We're pretty much, we're not charging you. So we're, you're, 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 we're hiring, you're hiring us for free to go ahead and look at a house, get that, um, look at the house that you uh, want, put the offer in and uh, get you to own that home at the end of the day, right? So real quick, I'm gonna step on the uh, seller side here and talk about that for a minute just so you guys can uh, understand where, where everything's coming from, right? So on the seller side, you have the seller and, or, and the listing agent, right? And the seller and the listing agent are basically, they're gonna come together and negotiate and agree upon both the price to list the house at and the commission that should be paid to the agents, right? So I say negotiate for the simple fact that when it comes to the commission, um, rate that's completely negotiable there is no standard uh rate it just depends on what you the seller and the buy the selling agent agree upon right and then once you guys have come to grips with that you're going to come to a uh a price to list the house at now the price is not determined by you the seller or by the listing agent it's determined by the market and what that means is basically if your house is listed, let's, let's say your house is listed at 100,000, right? And people are coming by, it's been listed for about two to three weeks and people have been coming by and they haven't been putting offers in and nobody wants to buy it. They feel like the price is too high. Well, that's the market speaking. The market basically is saying that they're not willing to pay you that price for your house at the moment, right? So what that means is that the price is going to have to come down. So the seller will, the seller's agent will go to the seller and speak to them and let them know, hey, hey, the house isn't selling. It, if it's if it's priced right in the market, it'll sell. So if the house isn't selling, um, the seller's agent is going to go to the seller and let them know, like, hey, we have to lower the price, and um, you know, so that way the house can sell. If this is something that you really want to do, if you really want to get the house sold, right? So anyway, um, that's what I, I just wanted to touch on that real quick, just to let you guys know, just to explain to you what the, that means by the market, um, you know, determining what the, the value of your house is. Okay. So in this, um, example, I just used some basic numbers. I used a hundred thousand for the house just to explain both sides to you guys. Um, just keep it simple, right? So, and then we use 6% for the commission rate. And as I said, it's not a standard rate, it's negotiable, but I just wanted to put that out there again, just so you guys understand. So they agree upon that. They agree to list the house at 100,000 with a 6% commission rate. And so I just wanted to talk to you guys, like I said, remember the uh, 
buyer doesn't pay the buyer's agent's uh, commission, right? It gets paid from the seller side. So they're listing it at 6%, but the seller's agent doesn't get all that 6%. It gets split down. So that way it's shared between the buyer's agent and the listing agent. And now this isn't always accurate. So um, like as far as like splitting it straight down the middle, sometimes the buyer's agent only gets 2.5% and the seller's agent will take 3.5%. Just depends on where, where the uh, percentage rate is at and how the seller's feeling about how, the seller's agent is feeling about how they want to split down that commission. So when that commission gets split between both agents, um, I just want to let you guys know because 3% seems like a lot, right? Out of $100,000, that's $3,000, right? So I just wanted to explain to you guys that, you know, we as agents, we don't get the whole three thousand um, dollars we still have to pay our brokerage fees and we have to pay um, our taxes and things like that right so essentially one percent of our uh, three percent commission goes to our brokerage right and so for instance if I was your agent one percent of my commission would go to Keller Williams my broker and then another one percent will go to my taxes because unlike an employee I'm a uh, independent contractor, so I have to set that, that money aside and pay my taxes at the end of the year, right? And that last 1% is what we take home as income. And that's the same on both the buyer's, the buyer's side and the seller's side, right? So I just wanted to come on here and basically um, explain to you guys how that transaction breaks down and based on, or basically uh, let you know how everything goes through on each side. So that's the end of the video pretty much. And um, if you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and uh, let me know if there's anything else that you guys might want me to talk about or maybe you have questions about. Maybe if you're just becoming an agent or you're thinking about getting your license or something like that and you have any questions, just go ahead and uh, leave them down in the comment section. Also, like I said, um, all my social media is a link to my um, account. And as always, if you or somebody that you know has any real estate needs, don't hesitate to reach out to me because I'm, I have a lot of connections with other Keller Williams agents and as well as my uh, mentorship program that I'm in called Modern Success with Brian Casella. Um, we have a lot of great agents in there. So if you guys do need help, I can always uh, get you guys help in a different state if it's not here in Florida. So pretty much that's the end of the video. Um, your favorite realtor is out and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.